Hello and welcome to uh, another edition of Conversation with a Socialist. I am here with um, Colette Jennings. Uh, you are a steering committee member for is it Arizona's um, Arizona's uh, Green Party. Yes, I am a steering member um, for the Pima County Greens. Okay, what does that usually entail? So my job is to make sure that the people of Pima County are being represented properly by the Green Party. Any issues that I see in our community are brought to the steering party's attention, and I'm trying to drive more visibility towards our county. Hmm. Uh, can you name a, name a few examples or not? Um, so living in Tucson, Arizona, one of the things that we've been focusing on is um, they want to start mining, like an open pit mine in the area, which will poison our water system. So we've been fighting against that because that adverse effects are mm, I would imagine. Uh, you know, um, how's, uh, has uh, Howie Hawkins been down there and to, uh, to help you guys out in regards to uh, visibility and stuff? Um, I don't think that he's visited Tucson. If he has, I was unaware of it. I'm actually pretty new to the Green Party. I joined, I think, like late April. I don't know, with COVID, everything's running together at this point. Yeah, no, I, 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 I feel you on that one. Uh, so uh, what uh, qualified you to be on the steering committee? I have a passion for my community. I have a passion for eco-socialism. And I'm young, and I want to be involved, and I want to make a difference. Okay. So no, that, that, anyone can it. be involved if they want to be. Okay. I, I, I didn't know. If, I didn't know if there had been uh, an established year to uh, to to, uh, to um, uh, be a part of the Green Party in order to make a committee like that. That's why I was asking. I'm still. I, I'm. Uh, I'm a registered Democrat, but uh, I'm more. I'm more or less with the. Green Party in regards to uh, the platform and such, but uh, I wanted to stay independent in regards to uh, my political affiliation. Uh, I and to be uh, to be transparent, I will be voting for Howie Hawkins in uh, Ohio. Last I checked, he's on the ballot as independent. I guess a um, libertarian got on the ballot as well, but chose to allow uh, Howie Hawkins to be on there as well. That's that, that was what I. Oh, I, awesome! Well, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, uh, and I've been trying to uh, figure out, and unfortunately, the Green Party I, I, ha I have seen is not very good in regards to uh, website structure. What I mean by that is uh, they don't have, uh, like, Arizona. Now, is he on the uh, ballot in Arizona? I forgot if you said yes or no. No, that's actually something that we were working towards. So we had raised petitions for putting the Green Party on the ballot this year, but our petition was rejected. Um, I think that was in January. So we tried running Howie as an independent. The problem is when we were going out to get the petitions, we had seven and a half weeks to gather 40,000 signatures during COVID. Yeah. So unfortunately we had less than 10 volunteers and we only got I think it was it was a little less than 500 signatures, which is pretty discouraging. Yeah, yeah, no, I definitely, especially in the early portions of this whole pandemic. Now that it's like later on, as far as the uh, the uh, the crisis goes, uh, people are starting to come out more. But it's closer to the end of the of the deadline too, though. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, uh, I know that uh, places like New York, where Syracuse, where, where, where he's from, I know that uh, did, didn't they uh, allow him to like either pay uh, a, a big uh, a big entrance fee, or uh, they give him just enough time to be able to get just enough signatures to qualify for the ballot there? Yeah, different states have different rules. I'm not as familiar with the New York. I do know that Oklahoma has a filing fee of $35,000 to be on the ballot, which is completely undemocratic in every way possible. Yeah. I read on Yahoo News earlier that uh, I think it was a Virginia, somewhere that has early voting already. Uh, there was, I think, uh, uh, Trump supporters were uh, like 100 feet away from the, from the line that allowed that early voting. But they were oh, yes. Uh, apparently, they were intimidating people, and I'm like, really? This is called a democracy. 
I I shared it on on Facebook and said uh, and mentioned that and Democrats throwing um, uh, the Green Party off ballots. It doesn't sound like an open democracy democracy to me. And and point not out, at all. And pointing out that this should give you even more reason to vote for the Green Party or a third party. Period. Absolutely. Well, I'm hoping to. So I've been encouraging my friends who want to vote for Biden mm -hmm. to register as green because the more people we have registered as a green, the more funding we get, the more visibility we get. And being registered green doesn't mean that you have to vote green in the presidential election. So that's yeah. something that we're trying to get the message out about. It's yeah. like if you really are thinking forward and you just want Trump out of office and you're voting Biden, well, at least register green to help us out with our numbers that way. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, now I'm from Washington State. Um, now uh, we have well, we okay. Uh, I've been I've been in the middle of moving for the better part of a month and a half. So we just landed in Columbia, um, Columbia, <laughs> uh, Columbus, Ohio, and mm -hmm. uh, we are just now getting our um, uh, voting started because I have a passport only. She has a uh, non-expired driver's license. Uh, but we still had to go through the process. Obviously, I was hoping that I would be able to use my uh, my passport at least for voting, but that doesn't work either. So I had to re-register as an Ohio uh, uh, voter, and I would, uh, as far as I know about it, Ohio, uh, you, you, can you register as a green? I can't remember. Um, in Ohio, I do not know. And yeah, no, I, I think that was an open faith question, really. But. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, that, that's why I'm, uh, I'm hoping to be able to make the, uh, the I think, the protest on the 29th uh, in uh, Cincinnati or Cleveland. I think it's Cleveland because they're going to have their first uh, debate there. Oh, wonderful. I'm hoping to uh, be doing a, a Facebook Live there and hopefully uh, have either Howie, Angela, or someone up higher up as far as the Ohio Green Party uh, be on, a, on a podcast. Oh, yeah, they're very open to that. Uh, we've been trying to get the local media here to give an interview. One of our Phoenix outlets gave an interview to Howie, but they haven't interviewed Angela. Mm. So we're trying to put out more visibility because they're happy to talk to anyone. Yeah. Uh, thinking about asking the Libertarians if they want to do a debate with Howie. That way they've got their candidate, we've got ours. So at least there's some kind of visibility for voters who don't want to. Uh oh. Uh, something happened there. We got cut off. Uh, uh, you, you there? Yeah, I'm still What? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. What, what happened? Yeah, my internet's been going in and out today. We don't know what's going on with it. Oh, okay, well, so that I can let uh, my uh, my very few audience members know. We may be experiencing technical difficulties at times, but stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I was uh, uh, right. I had interviewed uh, Angela Walker uh, back in late April. Isn't and, she uh, wonderful? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, unfortunately, I, I I was a bit nervous with that, and that she was the first uh, presidential uh, or vice presidential in this case uh, candidate that I have spoken to uh, on live um, uh, Zoom. And so the first thing she broke out was the um, explanation of the SPUSA nomination and the uh, and Green Party nomination. And I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. D didn't even have to ask. So yep. That was good. I liked that. Uh, anyway, so I'm hoping to actually uh, not only uh, interview more people of, like like yourself, but also people like Angela, Howie, and other uh, like Mellon Hoffman. I've been I've been to be a couple times. But in any case, that's not not that you're no there. Uh, how long have you been? You said you've been a Green since April. I, I think it was April. I remember after the Bernie debacle, um, I was like, you know what? I got really frustrated with the DNC in 2016, and this year I'm not taking it anymore. Yeah, it's like I bought their narrative of vote blue no matter who last time around, and it didn't serve me in any way, and as long as I have a vote where it's my decision, I'm going to work for a party that actually represents my values and vote for candidates who are going to work for people like me. Yeah, yeah. 
Yes, yeah, that sounds about right. I, I myself uh, was, um, I myself was very um, much into Bernie Sanders himself. Uh, then uh, one, I, I later understood that in the court filing uh, against the DNC, they had admitted in court that they can choose whomever they want to choose as far as a, a presidential candidate because they are a private corporation. Exactly. I don't think a lot of people understand what the GOP and the DNC really are. Yeah. Uh, I should not. I hope you don't mind, but I I, sh I share the link with my fiance. So she likes to like she, she likes to look in on me every once in a while. Anyway, um, so, uh, yeah. Once that happened, and once I um, once I uh, learned more about Howie Hawkins, I looked more into him. Then I then I saw that he had. Very much uh, a lot of detractors uh, within the Green Party. And I was trying to think of why, and then people were uh, were saying because of how how uh, uh, he has committee, committee members and all them on his side. When I'm thinking, well, that that's okay as long as I'm not trying to uh, askew the uh, the political system in favor of Howie Hawkins. And everybody I talked to have said that. Uh, the, every Green Party um, branch has its own rules. I mean, they go by the pillars, but they have their own rules depending on the on the state they're in. So I'm right. Like, like I'm like, okay, well, that makes sense if they're all working together to a certain degree to, to make things more transparent in regards to those other states. And some states they don't allow, like say, depending on what your paperwork looks like. I mean, like what I have with Darry Hunter. Apparently, there was some kind of mix up as far as the paperwork. It took more than a month than it should have. And yeah, anyway, that's again neither here nor there. But that's kind of like opening old wounds that don't meet you. But anyway, uh, but there's been a lot of detractors uh, within the, within the Green Party as well as uh, outside the Green Party, obviously. And every time I come up to the, every time I come run into one of those type of people. I like to I like to think of well he's the he's the OG of the Green New Deal. He came up with it in two thousand yeah. ran ran for it in, in uh, the gubernatorial uh, race there. Uh, Bernie Sanders didn't pick up the Green New Deal until what 2015, 2016? Exactly. And uh, he may have wrote the damn bill as far as Medicare for all, but as far as that, as far as the platform that I could see with, uh, with Howie Hawkins, his more um, uh, precise like it, it, it pinpoints. Where it, where that kind of help is needed at first, then it brought and then it brought itself out. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with the uh, um, the workers' rights and all that they, that he wants to bring into it. Uh, the uh, with, uh, workers' bill of rights. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I've also been uh, looking more and more up about socialism and not the ego portion of socialism, but socialism as a um, economic. Um, theory and um, that's the reason why I, I this show has gone through so many different changes as far as names go but i'm selling on this one uh the conversation with the socialist part because i identify more with the socialist aspect of economic standards uh, it's the uh it's the top down at the bottom up or bottom up not top down sorry i got, I got, I got that mixed up but anyway but ego socialism is the same thing except it, it, exactly it's socialism that is pr also protecting the environment because one thing that I like to tell people is before I, I'm an American, I'm a human being. Human beings need clean water. We need clean air. We need land to grow our crops. Like we forget that we aren't these infallible beings that can just exist off of technology. And if we allow climate change to continue to destroy our planet, within the next 20 years, our world's going to look vastly different than what we're seeing right now. And what we're seeing right now is already terrifying. Like we've had what, three hurricanes, we've got the wildfires and no one seems to care. And it's terrifying. Yeah, it's because it's being uh, drowned out by the mainstream media that doesn't want to, uh, because they officially and effectively get paid off by the big corporations in order to uh, silence those that <laughs> are trying to educate more people about it, they get a lot. A lot of their anchors get paid big bucks, big bucks to uh, to not be asking those type of questions. 
Mm-hmm. Um, actually, Rachel Maddow, who was up there and was, was basically praising Wisconsin for not allowing the Green Party on the ballot. Exactly. Oh my God. Uh, you guys used to be the progressive uh, wing of, of media. Now you guys are more like the middle, cl- the, the, the middle portion of, of, of media, which is basically almost as bad as being a Republican in regards to that. Um, yeah, that's the danger of voting for the lesser of two evils, because voting for the lesser of two evil is still voting for evil. And every election cycle, we're fed the same message, and we keep re- moving further and further to the right, where the point that the party that claims to be the right is a fascist party. And the opposition is just, well, we're not as fascist. Yeah. And it's unacceptable. And it's really depressing that our journalists who should have an obligation to actually educate and inform the American people, they just keep feeding into these petty battles with each other, and it's nonsense. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, while we're on candidates, as far as the talk wise, uh, are there any candidates in Arizona that I may not know about that you can remember off the top of your head? Unfortunately not. We do not have anyone officially running on the Green Party ticket in Arizona. Okay. Well, are you so guys that's right? one of the downsides of running for a small party. There's so much paperwork and bureaucracy that's involved. Um, we tried to run someone, but they weren't allowed to be in our primary because they didn't file paperwork in time. Mm-hmm. So it's just a lot more work to find people who are willing to step up and say, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. And then you have to find someone who's able to take the time to get all the petitions that are needed and then make sure everything's filed on time. And with COVID going on, it's harder to meet those deadlines. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, are you guys backing any candidate other than Howie Hawkins and uh, Angela Walker? And of course, the other uh, uh, Green Party candidates in other, in other states. Um, we, was, we support any Green Party candidates that are on any ballots or the write-ins for Arizona. Howie is officially a write-in candidate, and we don't endorse any, like, Democrats or Republicans officially. Personally, I'm just trying to find progressive candidates. Mm -hmm. I want to find candidates who are willing to see a bigger picture, who don't reject Medicare for All or a Green New Deal. And if we can at least agree on those things, I'd be happy to vote for them just to keep the momentum going. Because I feel like Bernie Sanders in 2016 really woke up America to the fact that socialism is not a bad word. And I think that more and more politicians are embracing those ideals. Right on. Uh, uh, What part of Arizona are you in? I am in Tucson, Arizona. Tucson, okay. Uh, Now, now that's a mainly, uh, are there any uh, blue portions of uh, Arizona? Yes, so P- Tucson is the little blue pimple on the red Arizona. Like, my little circle is pretty liberal, um, but Arizona as a whole is very, very conservative. Um, and one thing that's interesting about Arizona, because we have, like, that Wild West mentality, mm-hmm. you'll still find Democrats who are very pro-Second Amendment, including myself, like, People here love their guns, they love their freedom, and they don't like the establishment. It's just in the mentality out here. So you'll find it on the left side with, like, the hippies, and you'll find it on the right side with the more aggressive militia-type personalities. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yeah, I think think those are the kinds that are basically bothering people now. I want to say it was Virginia. Maybe I could have been wrong about that. You could look it up as far as on Yahoo! uh, they, they have that, or if you you can follow me on the Jacob I got on, on Facebook, and uh, it, it, I put that on there as well. Um, and this, by the way, will also be going on my anchor.fm slash combo and socialism. Uh, and I'm actually taping it right now uh, uh, for my phone uh, anchor. Anyway, um, let's see, was there anything else? Um, w- would you be, uh, are you thinking about running for office yourself? Not at this time. I feel like I don't have the temperament or the personality for public office. Mm. I think I'm better as an activist Mm. because I'm passionate, I'm very assertive, and that can come off as aggression. And I don't think that 
that portrays well to someone who needs to be more dignified. Mm. Although with Trump being in office, who knows, maybe people will be okay with me cursing and calling people out and not really caring about decorum. Yeah. Uh, are, are, uh, are you guys planning on trying to help people get to, uh, uh, to polling places if they're open and if it's mandatory? It's not something we've discussed. I know that COVID is a big concern. A lot of the people on our steering committee are older, so they're more at risk. Mm -hmm. I know I'll be working that day, so I won't be available to assist, but it's definitely something that is important. Um, luckily in Arizona, we have the permanent early ballot system. So oh. a lot of people are going to be voting by mail. And for me personally, I'll vote at home, but then drop it off at the polling station to make sure it's there on time. Yeah, yeah that, that's actually what, that's what I was thinking about doing as well. Like, there's a, yeah, th there's a reason why that sometimes uh, uh, the mailboxes are gone, especially. I, I, I heard that was, that was being done quite often in Seattle. I'm like, well, it's a good thing I moved. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Uh, we, we moved from Seattle to Ohio specifically because one, uh, there was a Green Party here, which I have yet to really get a hold of, uh, but two, because uh, things are a lot, more, a lot less expensive up here. Uh, down there, yeah. on my, on my Social Security, uh, cannot survive. Up here, definitely yes. So. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping to get this thing taken off, so maybe I can get myself off of Social Security eventually. But anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> uh, and by the way, I'm also open to doing advertisements for the Green Party. So uh, there's, uh, if, if you guys are interested in having like a commercial block of sorts on, on my programming, it is open to you guys. Wonderful. I'll have to run that by everyone to see if that's something that we can do. And the other thing I require is a uh, 99 cents per month membership. 99 cents? I think okay. we can swing something like that. <laughs> okay. Like everybody, like pretty much everybody there would, would, have, would have to be a member of sorts is what I'm saying. So. Okay. <laughs> that way you guys get something out of it. I did something out of it. So anyway. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Well, uh, I should probably let you go. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that we got enough of a, of a show for me to be able to put on. Uh, if not, we always uh, we can always uh, reschedule and do another one. Um, actually, we could do that anyway. Uh, thanks for uh, being here. Well, thank you for having me. I'm always available for interviews on Sunday if that's something that you want to do again. Uh, my, 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 might as well be nowadays. Uh, but thanks for being here. Uh, I hope you have a good day. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.